Welcome to the Well Done Podcast. I am Redmond Stash. And to my left, we've got... Some guy. Me, Judge Orino. Yay. To my other left. Well, you've got two lefts. Yep. Because <laughs> he's got two lefts. Oh my, hello everyone. I'm Monster Hunter Rock, and y'all know me. As the only guy in here who's not G-Crown. Yep. God, you, you know what? You know what? You don't even get me started. All right, and to my left is our guest. What you Dagger Thirty Two. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. We have guests on this show. Not anymore. Whoa. What did you do, <laughs> Judge? Made everybody angry. Oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> get on, like the podcast. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not just gonna sit here at this table the whole time. We're gonna go out on some quests. We're going to ask some questions. And I'm going to die. Oh, yes. If he doesn't die, we're not doing our jobs. This is G-Rank. And we ask Dagger what monsters she doesn't like to fight. And all the ones she didn't want to fight were things that Rock literally could not fight. Woohoo! Which... <laughs> Worked out perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like you freaking planned that. <laughs> Did yeah. you ask Rock to stay at G1? I Maybe. think everybody in Capcom knows that I hate Devil Joe and the Master's Devil Test, Joe. and it's because of Devil Joe, so nobody wants to see me fight that. It would be embarrassing. Devil. Well, we do want to see you fight a Kushala, so we're going to fight one. A Kushili. That Kush. And while Kushala. we're going out on this quest, it's time to load up the questions. Our first person asking questions is none other than Malik. Oh, Mally. Malik. His first question is, what was your first Monster Hunter game? Uh, the very first Monster Hunter on PS2 was my first Monster Hunter game. Very nice. Awesome. What weapon did you use back then? Duels. Ah. And the Great Sword. Yeah, back when great swords looked like long swords, it was. And fantastic. back when they couldn't charge, and back when the maximum sharpness was green. <laughs> yup. <laughs> We've come a long way. And I used the black dragon spear, of course, because if you didn't use that, you were a noob. Mm. Question two How many hours do you think you've put into the series at this point? I know it's hard to even think about, but best guess will do. Oof. Hmm. I think low balling would be 3,000 and high balling would be 5. Somewhere in that range. I, I don't know. I don't know how many hours I put in the first one because the clock ran out. But it was a lot. Wow. Well, yeah, if it's enough for the clock to run out. Yeah. It ran out at <laughs> 99959. <laughs> but I didn't have a computer in my apartment or anything. I only had internet for Monster Hunter. So that's like all I ever did. Good times. Good times indeed. Yeah. Uh, that, that's some some great placement there, Rock. No, I'm gonna die in the black. He'll end up there eventually. Though his tornado might end up there first, because uh, you may not know this, Rock, but that giant tornado in G rank it moves. Oh. In oh fact, my. it looks like it did in fact explode your bomb. <laughs> Oh, God! It, al it also murders rocks. <laughs> yep. Give me your red essence, you stupid dragon. All right. Well, question three. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dagger. And this is going to be a short first <laughs> quest. <laughs> 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 okay. So, question three. We've discussed in topics before the importance of looking good. What is the best looking armor set in Monster Hunter Four Ultimate? Is it a full set or a mix? Oh, I'm, I'm a guilty fashion hunter, and I take good-looking armor over good skills, which I know is bad, but I don't care because no, I like I'm sorry, cool. but if you can get good looks and good skills, you don't need anything else. None of my mix sets look good. None of them. None. I really like the, uh, the high-ranked Crimson Fatalis, the look of it. Yeah, but, it is uh, pretty neat. That would probably be my favorite, looks-wise. 
or butterfly with rainbow effect. Oh yeah, rainbow butterflies rainbow are pretty great. <laughs> but not the 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 Ronessa, whatever the heck that one's called. Not that Lopesa? one. That one looks stupid. Yeah. On chicks, at least the 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 male version of that one is awesome, but on on chicks it looks really bad. Okay. Well, I, I definitely know how fashion hunting goes. Uh, my carving set is my fashion hunter set, which is pretty great. <laughs> what is it? Uh, it's mostly Guild Knight X with the uh, Teo X chest. So, swanky hat, nice cape, nice. everything red. Oh, yeah. nice. Fashion's the way to go, and heck, if y'all haven't checked out my Sharp Dress Hunter video... Do that now. The Habra armor is it's pretty good too. Oh, yeah, decent skills. I feel like the status. I made that. Never use it ever. <laughs> <laughs> it is really nice looking. <laughs> I've done that with a few armor sets myself. <laughs> yeah. But I don't have my Final Fantasy XIV set in this game. Oh, my sexy right. one. Start a petition, Judge. Hell yeah. Uh, we have <laughs> those petitions now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when is the uh, uh, Final Fantasy Armor DLC coming out? Does anybody know? Eventually. Ah. They I want it. They haven't revealed a timing for it. For all we know, it could be next month because they haven't put up uh, an event quest preview yet. Hope so. Would be great. Yeah, it does look pretty nice. They uh, at WonderCon they showed off an actual render of how it looks in game. And yeah, it looked pretty nice. Has it come out in Japan? I have no idea. Uh, no, that set actually will not come to Japan. That's one of the ones that we're getting in place of one of their sets. Awesome. Oh, wow. All right, well, next question. Who hooked you up with those awesome Monster Hunter tattoos? I need to get one ASAP. Um, my Monster Hunter tattoos... One of them I got in Colorado, and one of them I got in South Dakota. <laughs> so, um, you could go to Colorado or South Dakota. Mm. Do it, Malik. Do it. So, uh, just curiosity's sake, what Monster Hunter tattoos do you have? I have the Fatalis Glyph, and then I also have uh, uh, the the, Ra the Rathalos Armor Cat. Very nice. Feline. Yeah, my sister's getting the Rathian cat, and then my hunter friends and I all got the same Fatalis one. Nice. I'll see them. Gonna maybe get the Ace Hunter crest at some point? Maybe. Maybe. And I started reading the manga, and I kind of want Which to one? like... Cause... The, the one that I call orange, but is not oh, orange. Oh, that one. <laughs> that, that orange. Yeah. It's basically fan fiction tier. It is 100% not king. I, I still enjoy it. Like, yeah, I don't know. It, it's silly fun. It's just, it's barely monster. <laughs> right, but when like that, when I had the hype for this game, I was like, just eating it up. I was like, I cannot wait. I'll just read this. And yeah, just wait I'll until they it. come out with those wind element dual blades. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's it, it's it's dumb, but. There's nothing wrong with a little, a little dumb. Yep. And Malik's final question: Out of all the Monster Hunter games over the years, which one is your favorite and why? So far, I'm going with For You, but I have a lot of love for Monster Hunter Tri. Not the best game in terms of content, but I met tons of great people because of it. That would be Unite, definitely mm. Unite. Oh. I don't know. I was just so into it then, and I was writing guides and. Figuring out ad hoc party and Exling Kai and it yeah. was great hunting back then because you knew if you were hunting with anybody online, it's because they really, really wanted to because it wasn't, it was not easy. It was, it was horrible. I but it was, I met some good night. people. Yeah, I remember having a deal with ad hoc party for Portable Third. It was, it was a thing. Yeah. Go look at that guide. I wrote the Capcom one. <laughs> what about and the in PlayStation terms of... Underground one. 
<laughs> in terms of gameplay, which Monster Hunter is your favorite? Oh. Hmm. See, now you're throwing that at me, and I feel like I'm betraying... I can't even bring this up because it's controversial, but I feel like I'm betraying my Sony count consoles by saying this one, so I'm going to say Unite. <laughs> oh, you think <laughs> Unite plays better than this one? No, but I have to say that, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, probably a Sony rep, like, right behind her you know, with a gun, like, yes, yes. You're not betraying the console, because, I mean, it's not the console that enables the gameplay. It's just that's but, what they had at the time. Oh, yeah, okay, so this one, just I just love the uh, the new moves they added to all the weapons are fantastic. Yeah. And the mounting is, well, it's, it's kind of overused at times. And uh, it adds a whole different element to the gameplay and the climbing. You can stop it from being overused by not doing it. Yeah, but why would you do that? Yeah, <laughs> Have you exactly. played with yeah. these phantoms? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't mount, you don't <laughs> win. Yeah, there's a point <laughs> after which you're losing damage if you're still trying to mount, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still a neat thing. And I love how varied the terrain can get. Yeah, I yeah. like it too. And that I've been playing for like 300 hours, and I still feel like a badass when I jump off a cliff. Like, yep, <laughs> that's definitely saying like something. Like this cliff over <laughs> here. Wha? <laughs> <laughs> I love how you land face down. Is that the place where the cats are doing the weird stuff? No, it's where you get no. the meteor chunk. Look up below. My Ray meteor chunk. Junk. My chunk in my trunk. <laughs> oh, I see. You guys are all going for real mining, and I'm just carrying a rock like a <laughs> Yep. All right. <laughs> Speaking of carrying rocks, how was that quest, Rock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thrilling. Rock, how is it? Thrilling. It was quite thrilling. Good. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Let's any up. Let's do a Fatalis. Uh, we can't do a G rank Fatalis. You're not high enough level. I have a high rank one. But that's just a high rank one. Oh, yeah. wait. That's why we're in the high G rank hall. I don't know why they did that. They should have just said Well, it's everything. easy to just go to the high rank hall. There's a world map for that. It's just. We, we can do G rank quests. Yeah. We can Let's be the it. cool kids. Uh, are you trying to get out of doing the difficult stuff? No. Yeah. yeah. So you don't yeah. think the Black Fatalis is difficult? Not the high rank one? Not compared to some of the stuff that we can do in even G2. That's all right. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's fight this shrouded Nersilla that's actually a Cephatrol. <laughs> right? What is up with that? <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, that was actually not typoed in the Japanese version. I have no idea when and why it got broken, but it got broken. And for those watching at home, this quest is mandatory if you want to unlock the ability to purchase dense Markel and the ability to have more Y-stones. Hells yeah. So, while we're getting ready for this quest, uh, we've got our next question asker, Party Star. With a single Hot. question. Body tot. Why are you so cool? Oh. I think that's for the r someone else. I don't think he knows who I am. <laughs> well, he put it in this thread, so tell us. Why are you so cool? Um. Uh. I've got absolutely nothing. Um. It's because you're I modest, okay. I, I, I would say it's like 10 years of being a recluse. Mm. That'll do it. Well, at least you weren't a brown recluse. Those things are horrific. True. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, our next question asker is Kara Rusa. Kara Rusa? Also known as Melanie and several other names. That we won't mention here. Indeed. First question <laughs> from Kararusa. 
what Monster Hunter background music got you really into the hunt? Oh, that's so easy. You know when you hit the, the Dragonator and then it just starts up like that? Dun, oh, dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Like, that's it. That just does it. Yeah. Every time. Nice. It's, like this, it's great. It makes you think that you're so much stronger than what you are and you're not going to fail. And then when you die and that music's playing, it's like the worst feeling. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> makes it sound like the game's really happy that you died. <laughs> it does. You've died it triumphantly. It reminds me of like fighting Lao, and Lao used to be so hard. And like just when you heard that music, you you got that like, oh my god, we're we're actually gonna finally beat this freaking quest. And then, <laughs> well, a lot of people would fail, but you know, it it still it gets you going. It makes you it gives you that hope that you're gonna do it. And every time you hear that, it's just like the feelings, mm -hmm. the feelings. <laughs> this Nersilla is really shrouded, you guys. Oh no. Gas. I'll just collect all the stuff in the secret area. You guys can fight. Next question from Kararusa. What was your first wall? Um. In this Monster Hunter or in previous Monster Hunters? Why not both? Uh, in this Monster Hunter, the freaking master's test. I that was your it. first wall, huh? <laughs> that that has been the only thing. I mean, I I was scared when I fought the other the other quests. I had like a few moments of oh my god, I can't do it. But then it was almost disappointingly easy. Were I there think any because that you I had played a lot. Um, the first quest I failed solo. I think was I don't I have no idea but probably Sergios maybe because I didn't know his moves yet but mm. even then like you just trip him constantly I don't yeah, remember having too much so with him. easily um yeah my first real wall has just been this master step which I'm never gonna beat and I'm gonna break my 3ds over oh you'll beat it someday I believe in you I do not. Believe in the heart <laughs> of the cards. Believe in the me that believes in you. <laughs> believe in something. In other monsters, like the very first Monster Hunter, I remember getting on, going online to figure out how the heck to beat Katku. Oh yeah, I'm is... sure a lot of people share that experience, <laughs> actually. <laughs> it was so hard. Like, that first Monster Hunter. I've actually got some friends who are experiencing that in this game. Really? Yeah, That's it's good. it's not their first Monster Hunter, <laughs> but it's Kutku's new to them, and they're like, "Wait, uh -oh. how does this even work?" Actually, that that rings a bell. The first monster to kill me was a level sixteen Velocidrome when I still had my hunter armor. I had no idea what guild quests were, and I was like, oh, "I yeah. got this. I did not have <laughs> it. I did not. I died <laughs> from a Velocidrome, and it was embarrassing." Yeah, it's actually amusing how quickly people will die to high-level guild quest cutkus. Because if you enrage those things, they do their hopping around, and the little chip damage that comes from them hopping will easily bring you down to half health if you just stand there. And it's and the character they doesn't the flinch or yeah. anything. And, oh you yeah, got those freaking, damn roly polies who just constantly interfere with your combos. Will roll two of them. Con Conchu bowling is the best. Whoops, I, I like all in the conchus. It's really fun. Okay, well, next question. <laughs> what is your favorite <laughs> weapon so far? Duels forever. Duels. Duels forever. Good choice. Followed by greatsword. Followed by insect blade. Followed by charge blade. Mm. Followed by bow. Well then, let's turn that on its head. What's your least favorite weapon? Um, hammer. I just cannot do it, and I end up just hitting people and it's rock. It's dead already. And hunting horn, I also cannot. I don't. I have so much respect for people who use the hunting horn. Mm. 
Okay, next question. If you were to pick a monster that wouldn't grow past three feet to have as a pet, what would it be and why? Hmm. Hmm. That is a good <laughs> question. Uh, probably a kaku, just because. I mean, that's kind of like a featherless chicken, but it's also a kaku. And I would love to have a tiny little kaku. And at that size, you'd be able to feed it regular roly polies, and it would probably be just fine. Right? Yeah. I used to have chickens. <laughs> it's probably the same thing. As long as you can potty train it. Anything you can potty train, I, I would I would take as a pet. Mm. All of them. Oh, no, wait. I changed my answer to Janoga. Ah, Janoga. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Change it again to Narga. Mm. See, the more I think about it, I want a Narga. Because then I can pretend like it was how to train your dragon. Tiny little cat bat. Yep. Meow. Yep. Narga wind. Oh, I love this monster. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, last question from Kararusa. <laughs> do you like bacon? If so, how do you prefer it? I don't like bacon. Mm. <gasps> Just kidding. I love bacon. Um, anyway, except for raw. I prefer crispy over chewy because chewy I just don't think is done. And I like my bacon well done. See what I did there? I see what you did there. <laughs> it, was, it was well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And next up asking questions we have Scout. Oh god. Did my scouts here? Scouts He's sitting first. next to me, so this is going to be awkward. Mm. Scout's first question. What's it like having a sister that has maybe played one-fifth of the amount you do, but is still, all caps, brimming with amazing hunting talent? <laughs> <laughs> I would not know. Mm, you don't know what it's like to have a sister who's brimming with amazing hunting talent, eh? Nope. <laughs> I wish I did. That would be so handy. But no, I don't. Oh, that Celtus just blew up all over me. I always bring oh, deodorant on this quest. Oh, so do I. And I Every freaking, time. I love how the Celtus explodes on impact. Yeah. I, I don't like how I'm pooped and have, like, no help. Judge, please help. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, oh, welcome. I got oh. shot again. <laughs> <laughs> I need to pay attention to that and not just my health bar. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did we all get hit? At yes. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. And one time I was fighting a Celtus pair. Yes. <laughs> and the Celtus freaking got off the queen and dive bombed the shock trap so that she wouldn't get hit by it. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> and they will also carry the queen out of pit traps, but that's a different thing. Yeah. That's horrible, but but fantastic. She is my favorite new monster. Yeah, they've got She's a great so dynamic weird. going when they're together. Yeah. Monster kill. Alright. Next question from Scout. Why are you turning your house into Chico Sands? Because I like cats. And I'm trying to train them, and they just sleep. Do any of your cats have <laughs> bomb barrage? No. What about no. bomb onslaught? No. I wish. The F -bomb. Just melee onslaught? Flying F bomb. <laughs> all they do is cast melee sleep on each other. It's horrible. Oh, they've all got sleep <laughs> affinity. <laughs> or sleep edge or whatever. There's only five, so it's not like there's 50. Okay, so you've only got your first stringers filled out. Exactly. Awesome. Oh, those kitty cats. I know, I'm trying to make them famous so that I can make millions of dollars and stop working. Yeah, making millions of dollars for having a cat would be pretty yeah. nice. Trying. Nobody cares, though. It I could care. be possible. I care a lot. Well, maybe people would care <laughs> more if they had good skills like Melee Onslaught. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. They just... 
Nothing. I mean, at least Pertuoso Plus. Come on. <laughs> Wrath of Meow. Nothing. Wrath of meow. Wrath of meow. They won't even wear armor. Oh. God. No, I've tried. <laughs> They're horrible cats to you. They are. We have one that I might be able to get to wear armor, but he's a little bit stupid, so it would just it would not go well. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lot bit stupid. He's inbred, it's fine. <laughs> I bet you he has a southern accent. Oh, boonies. Oh. oh, I oh. found a quest. Oh no. It, it's what gonna is be it? a fun time. Everyone put away every item you have. Oh god damn it. I already have this one cleared, but let's do I it. I have every quest cleared. Do you think Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's impressive, because I keep meaning to get all the, the egg-carrying ones done, and then when I go to set it up, I just end up sleeping in instead. Because, no, I hate those quests. Mm. A lot of people Oh, wait, is thing. this Camellios, or is this Devil Joe? It's Cammy. Okay. Okay, just let me upgrade my... Yeah, you can wear your armor, okay. just no bringing items. I need to put away my own items before I can set the quest. <laughs> and while we're all getting ready for this, next question. Do you feel you hunt better if you're constantly using the preset enthusiastic phrases such as good job and nice work while you're hunting, even if someone just so much as hits the monster once? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just really like being nice to the to the randoms. <laughs> I don't. They I'm need sorry. encouragement. They're not very good. So you I... should celebrate every time they do something right. One time I went on a sootstone quest with a friend. And <laughs> instead of actually helping, I decided to just follow them oh along and start clapping every few <laughs> steps. <laughs> Spell the rod, spoil the child. Yeah, I was just... I was there to be supportive, not to carry Moral things. Moral support. Yeah. I understand that. I do that stuff, too. They gotta learn on their own. You're helping them. Yeah, exactly. You whip them. It's crazy, because now when you do those carrying quests, and you're like, okay, does everybody have a flute? They're like, what the hell's a flute? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, next question. Have you ever spent an entire quest with a serious group, only hunting down one member of the group, if only to utilize the kickboxing skill you got? No. Well then, clearly you're not dedicated enough <laughs> to kickboxing. No. No, I have. But, uh... Uh, not, it wasn't a serious group, so it's okay. I would never do that in, like, a serious business quest. I but, would. yeah. Why not? Because I don't like... That's a lie. Because I like making progress. I mm. pretty much need everything. So I only like messing with people if I don't need the items. <laughs> or I if they come in and, like, just post a quest. And they're like, help me. Then I'll, I'll join them and, and do that. To be mean. <laughs> Aha, I've taken the antidote horn. Aha. Uh -huh. uh. Oh, this quest is horrible. Haha, <laughs> well, at least once you ride never it. Never do it again. Once you ride it, antidotes show up in the box. Oh, I should have brought an insect leaf. Oh, well. I brought one. So, technically, Good. you brought one. Good. I brought one, too. It's okay. I'll still launch you guys up there. <laughs> also, there's, there's ledges. That's true. Ledges for ledges. Alright, last question from Scout. If you could change the meat cooking prompt song to any popular song from the 80s, what would it be? Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. 
Probably the final countdown. <laughs> and at what point would your what point would your meat be done then? Um, good answer. That is a good question. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Right there. <laughs> and, be shorter. And how would it go if it was on a double spit? Would it be? Yes. <laughs> that would be the dumbest. <laughs> that would be the best. I'm totally going the wrong way. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to eat. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Next set of questions is from Oles the Cheetah. Cheetah. Uh, why did you flinch it? Uh, you screwed us out of the subquest. Oh no. Oh. We don't Oops. get antidotes if we don't get the subquest. We got it. it Rock, you need again. to stop attacking things when they're being ridden. I. Hey, you know what? It's called Monster Hunter, not Monster. And like, part of hunting is sitting and waiting for the right chance. Oh god! Yeah, Rock. There's a reason people don't go hunting deer with Gatling guns. Man. Even it's though that mean. does sound incredibly American. <laughs> I know. I it was really kind of does. I was like, what? You mean I'm doing it wrong? Okay. Thanks. So, first question from Oles the Cheetah. What is the most difficult monster you have encountered? Uh, Shen Gao Ren. Really? He's my guy? nemesis forever. I know. Everybody says that. I don't, he's just my you nemesis just forever. just the putsies. I just, I couldn't do it. I, just, <laughs> I don't know. I could, I could solo white fatalis and then you're like, do Shin Gaoran. Nope. Nope. Cannot. I don't know. How do you feel it's about... It's another mental thing. How do you feel about Gaoran's parts being available in this game without needing to fight him then? It still makes me sad. I'd, uh, I'd much rather just be able to fight him. I don't know why they did that. Makes, I don't like that. I wish that all of the monsters you can trade parts for, except for Alitron, because I also don't like that monster, would uh, would just be in the game. How fun would it be if we, after this, went and did just that one quest in 3U? Because <laughs> <laughs> we do have the technology. Ah, stupid not thing. be fun. Oh my... Okay, next question. What is your favorite monster of all time in Monster Hunter? Plus. That's easy. He just seems the most real. Like, if one of the Monster Hunter monsters are going to be real, it's going to be Bless. And he's going to be just swimming. Really? Mr. Fish? Mr. Fish. He's always been my favorite. I think it's because hmm. nobody had his armor in the first game. And I remember it gave the runner skill, and I used duels, and I just loved it. And I looked like a scuba diver and freaking ridiculous. But I was like, plus loth, loth armor and uh, the insector duels, and I thought that was so cool. Welcome back, Mr. Fish. We missed you. I Brother. wish he was in this game. He is. And uh, not really. And you don't even have to be a good fisherman to catch him. You just have to get in the general area. <laughs> yeah, you just have to kind of hit him a little bit. Horrible. And he goes in the same Whee! pattern the whole time. He never yeah. deviates from his oval. And how do those five cats like weight-wise? Even do they one cat can. In? Yeah. I just, I don't get it. I don't, I don't see how it's even possible. Well, tell that to hunters who fish please the off out. That's true, that's true. But Hunter's different. Like, we can carry great swords. Cats tell, can. That, tell that to real humans who use fishing rods to pull out freaking enormous sharks. That's true, too. But they're weirdos, because that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mind oh, me, shit. I'm just being down here. Okay, Hate next that, question. Hot drink or cool drink? Both. At the because same time. I always yeah. do that. I'll be in the volcano and I'll be like, this is like a good time for a hot drink. And it's an accident, but it happens 
more often than I like to admit. <laughs> so bold. <laughs> but what about flavor-wise? Mm, hot drink. For sure. You don't like the uh, taste of ice crystal plus stuff? I'm no. going to say, that's Sprite. That Sprite's quite tasty. You don't like ice crystal plus bitter bug. You prefer hot pepper no. plus bitter bug. Can they just keep the bitter bug out of it? <laughs> you. Uh, can you? I don't see any other combos. Yeah, I know. Just buy it at the store and, and just... And don't just know pretend what's that there's like no bitter bug in there. <laughs> just pretend it's a life. hard piece of sugar. Nice. That's creepy, Crowdly. He's more right. afraid of you than you are of him. All right, and we've got one more question from the cheetah here. Out of all the Monster Hunter games or ones that you have played, what is your favorite opening sequence that introduces the game to the player? Ooh. That's a tough one, because they're all really, really, really good. Um, yeah. Um, wow. That's a really hard question. I will go with... I really liked Tries. I liked how they incorporated the, the laggy. It was Yay! Really cool. yeah, tries opening. Freaking, it just felt like a really long ecology video. It did. It, w and it was I, really good. I love that. Like, it was I, really good. I would buy... A feature film length or maybe even a full like TV series length documentary of monster ecologies heck yeah I, freaking, I don't care that they don't exist but I, I am an information addict <laughs> and I don't care if it's information about things that aren't real just give me that I want to live in this world <laughs> if only for the time when the documentary is running me too <laughs> Oh. Oof. Stop stealing my rations, man. Come on, man. This is not cool. Yeah, well, that's all we have from our cheetah friend. So oh, next cheetah. up we have a reckless hunter. You're so reckless, dude. Come on. Stop being so reckless. He sounds so familiar. I wonder if I've, I, like, I, I see that name on the boards and I'm like, did I, did I play Unite with that guy or girl? She seems so familiar. Oh, Aphrodite. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's, there's nothing that would indicate that in their signature, so I can't tell you. <laughs> but what I can say is their first question is, how did you discover Unity? Actually, it's because of one of my tattoos. I saw... Um, I was linked because it was featured on the front page, and I was like, what? Who is Snow, and why does he have my picture, and why didn't he ask my permission? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Snow. We oh, missed Oh, no, I almost got my antidote horn off. And we were all poisoned, too. Good thing I have antidotes. But that's cheating. You're a that cheater, cheating. Judge. Hey, oh, hey the, give that back, you stupid Camellios. You took my max really potion. Oh. Well, it wasn't your max potion. It was an easy max potion. It was my max It potion. was in my hand, ready for consumption. And, yeah, no, it was, it was mine. All right, so I'm going to be silly and kind of corrupt that last question a little bit. How did you discover the in-game system of Unity? What do you mean? <laughs> but, like when when you're hunting with people whose guild cards you have, you gain unity. Oh, just from being obsessed with my guild card, like that's all. I was like, what Good is job, this unity? Bug. And then when it gave me tickets, and I never use my tickets because I'm like, I might need. You to have to collect else. them. I have never used them, and I always say, okay, this is the game. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use these tickets, but I don't because I'm afraid that I will waste them and then be really sad. Like uh, when I traded my Kusha gem for a Camellio's gem, and I do not get Kusha gems ever, and I have like 25 Camellio's gems right now. <laughs> yeah, the oh, thing about using no. the tickets, it, it's the easy way out. It is. That's yeah, the way I like get them. those parts from hunting the monsters. Exactly. Exactly. 
Like, what if you just traded all your tickets, got your parts, and then traded your parts, and then made an armor set, and then, like, where's the fun in that? That makes me sad. All right, well, our final question from Reckless Hunter. Would you consider yourself a rodeo god or saddle sore, in-game and in real life, if applicable? <laughs> Awkward. Um, <laughs> no matter how I answer this question, it's going to sound horrible. Um, I will go with rodeo god. <laughs> For both? For, yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> well, our next questions Our next questions come from Seraphy. Oh no. Oh no for oh, Seraphy, cool. really? No. Cool. Okay. She has not been on the board much. She's just been Yeah. Blacker. She shows up when we summon her. It requires some arcane rituals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh sometimes blood sacrifice, but not always. Yep. Worth it. And lots of pretty candles. Yeah, I need a blood sacrifice for me mm. to be summoned to the bards again. <laughs> nice, paralyzed. Holy crap. All right, well, Seraphie's. Well, uh, <laughs> Seraphie starts off by saying that she's so excited that you get to be on the Well Done podcast. You're going to have so much fun with these guys. So yeah. you better have fun with us or you're disappointing Seraph. Yeah. I'm I'm playing Monster Hunter, so it's pretty fun. Alright, well, her first question <laughs> How are all your pets? <laughs> They're fine. Except for the cat that died. Oh. But the rest of them are fine. Oh no, not my kitty. Hey, it just meant that we could get a new one. <laughs> and my bearded dragon is about to have like 800 babies. That that's oh. a lot of babies. I want yeah. 800 bearded dragon babies. They will do your bidding. I would take care no, of they them don't. all. They're even lazier than the cat. Supplementary have... question: You have plenty of palicos in your house. Which one is your ace palico? My ace Pelico is Mushu, our Himalayan. And then he's followed by the dumb one, Midas, the Persian. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my, kitty cats. Seraphie's next question, what HR are you? I think I'm 152, but I will let you know for sure in a second. <laughs> New well, stuff. I ranked up. Hooray. Me too. Oh, I'm 156. Nice. 